How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicle. What we're looking at today is the 2019 Ford Transit SWAT vehicle that we built for the Cattaraugus County Sheriff's Department. <laughs> So up top, what we're looking at is we have the sound off signal interior light bar in dual color configuration with the white scene light override. In the grill, we've got four sound off signal M powers in the dual color configuration with the white override. Taking a look at the side of the vehicle, on each wheel well, we've got sound off signal three inch M powers, uh, also in dual color configuration. On both sides, along with the back, we've installed the Luverne grip step running board. That way they have a good platform to be getting in and out of the vehicle and also allows them to uh, stand on the running boards if they so choose to. So we've installed a rear mount on the door and what that does is when the door is in the outward position, we've given them a strap that allows them to lock the door in position so that way if they move the vehicle, the doors aren't fly forward on them. Take a look at the back of the vehicle. We've installed sound off signal hideaway LEDs a blue LED in the reverse light, and then a red LED in the brake light. With the rear doors open, you can see we have the rear Luverne step to allow better entry into the back of the vehicle. Um, what we've installed is a SWAT deployment insert that we fabricated specifically for this customer. So uh, it's got an inverter system in it with 110 volt outlets along with a shoreline that they can plug in and power the unit and also charge the battery. Um, we've installed our flooring system along with the benches with the padded top and they've all been sprayed with tough coat to help with durability. On all of the lift ups we've installed gas piston assist to help them getting access to inside. Um, what also they have the ability to do is store equipment inside of them. So something different that we've done with this vehicle is we have fabricated out of the HDPE um, overhead compartments that they can store their helmets in and then we also install Blue Sea system fuse blocks in each one of the compartments so that they can in the future wire in any chargers or anything else that they may want to. Um, <clears throat> we've installed seatbelt straps to help retain the equipment. Then we've also fabricated hand holders so that way when they're getting in and out of the vehicle they have something to grab on or if they're standing in the back here. Um, something that we also did differently is we've installed Hanson LED handrails with the red LED backlighting and what happens is they have the switches on the front and the side and they can toggle between that and then the white interior lighting depending on if it's a night situation or a daylight or what type of light they're looking for. <clears throat> on the sides here we've installed some pack tracking which will allow them to mount any of their equipment that they may want to carry inside of it and allows the flexibility to change as they go along. Up front what we've done is we've installed a flip up seat which <clears throat> gives them extra storage if they need to or they have a seated riding position. We have our electronics compartment here that houses the inverter, the control system for the sound off controller and then all of our fuses and relays that go along with the vehicle. And then we've also given them a vertical mounting surface that allows them to mount any tall equipment like their shields some battering rams, anything else that they may want to, and it gives them that flexibility. So what we've designed for the vehicle is a, uh, is a console that will accommodate their radio along with the controller and the controller for the, uh, the Freedom Inverter. Uh, this will also give them any flexibility to add any other equipment that they may need at a, a later time.